I wonder what the next move is. Still in control. Just light on my feet. Hmm. What's that? Let's have a look. Cook with fire, baby. Go on. Let's have some cup.
ready. Left there. Time to press ahead. How many die today? How many die tomorrow? What's hiding here? Thought I sensed an inferno around here, but you aren't from Elturel. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the Hells, enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The Devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I might be able to help. But I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing 
isn't meant to operate outside of Vernus. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Hey, soldier. I think we picked up some of that infernal iron already. What say you? Should I give it to him? Please let this work. Mmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That feels... good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Druids. Who uses wooden tools? Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Bring it on. I'm just sad. Here. I sent you to Zevlor. What? nose of yours has gone poking in our business. Mistress Ollerton, I can explain. Shh, shh. No need. It couldn't be helped. Quagga, what is the meaning of this? You think yourself quite the spy, don't you? Go on, tell him. What's in the cloak word? Korga, have you lost your mind? Halsin is weak, Wrath. But in the shadows, we are strong. We are safe. There is no other way. You and Halsin welcome untouchables to your midst. You defile the grove for the sake of harmony. 
Paladin speaks truth. Who among you disagrees? Who would see this grove in ruin? The choice is made. Koga, burn the tainted away. Start with a snitch. As you say, Oladin. What you say? In shadow, we are purified. Kogo's voice breaks and her lips tremble. She heard reason in your words. Kogo eyes you intently as you speak the text etched into the frescoes. By claw and tooth, from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. The forest rose with claw and tooth to tear the darkness from its roots. In darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. The towers seized, the battle done, the moonrise broke the darkest one. When, when the darkest hour fell, it was us that brought light. Sylvanas demands we illuminate shadow, not hide within it. How was I so blind? Careful, Koga. The shadows don't forgive. I belong to the shadows no longer. You've no power over me. You would question my power. Mother Earth, hear me. Grant me your wrath. Once called me a monster. Seems I've proven you right. I endangered a child. I betrayed the Circle's trust. We will stop the right and I will stand trial. My fate lies with Sylvanus. May he have mercy. We will grant them safe harbor until they depart. Meanwhile, help us contend with the goblins. Perhaps we can dissuade them from attacking. It began with a letter. There was no messenger. It simply appeared. Oladon came soon after. An army was coming, she said. Goblins, drow, and more still. Legions upon legions. The druids of Cloakwood knew the dangers this would bring. 
They ordained that all circles cast the right to shelter from the storm. Oladin taught me to harness the Tree Father's power to wall us in. In return, well, you know the rest. I would turn the grove over to them. I won't forget the wounds I've inflicted. I pray Halsin returns to heal them in full. have seen everything. Any questions, children? Hope the goblins aren't smart enough to poison their blood. Seems simple enough. I'm told the druids have stopped their damned chanting. What happened? Truly, Ilmata's ashes. I never thought she would actually see reason. Thank you. We still have the goblins to contend with, but you've given us time to prepare. I need to ensure my people make the most of it. But here, left over from my soldiering days, it's sparse thanks for what you've done for us. And I'm afraid I have more yet to ask. You've bought us some time here, but the goblins are still massing out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Let's get on with her. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes. Of course. What a charmer. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close.
take me. What Let's are you doing for better to me? Step, parry, swing, soldier. Land. a headache. Moving it. It's my job. All is ash and meat. Something's gone away from me. A spasm grips your chest. Your strength falters. An emptiness grows within you, Paladin. Something has been lost. I've broken your oath, Paladin. At the close of day, I will be waiting for you. We have much to discuss. Mind never quiet. I have been waiting for you. I felt the moment of your liberation. The shedding of your bond. You called to me. I am here to show you the way. I was the first. The first to swear. The first to fall. When another's oath is broken, I stand witness. I hear their sorrow. I see their jubilation. I guide their hand. Oathbreaker, you swore to protect life itself. To serve the natural order, to protect those who value life, and vanquish those who would destroy it. Tell me, why did you abandon your oath? A lapse in judgment. To know the reason for your fall is, perhaps, to know the shape of things to come. Take comfort in your undoing. I, like you, abandoned my cause. But much can still be achieved. Your oath is broken. The light within you fades. A new power is awakening. It is possible, but such a promise must not be made lightly. Wealth must be sacrificed, and your soul re-pledged. It is wise to first consider what is gained, 
and what is lost in the bargain. Should you wish to do so, speak with me again. I served a noble lord. I fought for him without question or restraint. Where his light shone, my sword followed. In his name, I raised villages, put thousands to the sword. I believed our greater purpose required such brutality, such sacrifice. But his light was so radiant, it blinded me to all else. I could not see the darkness and corruption of the path he led me down. When I finally saw the truth, he would not be reasoned with. So, I ended him. For this, I was called Oathbreaker. I knew the consequences would be worse for those he continued to harm. What's oh, past is past. We are here to discuss your future. You may refuse, but this alone will not restore what was lost. Without light to guide you, or darkness to consume, you will remain adrift. Powerless. Mm. Until that day, I will be here, and my offer will remain. You are between worlds, Paladin. Have you made a choice? It is possible. First, you must pay the agreed price. Material sacrifice is required to prove your words have substance. Do you wish to pay? The price is paid. Tell me, why do you wish to reclaim your oath? Repairing what was damaged. Atoning for the past. Kneel, Oathbreaker. You swear to defend life itself, to protect all that is good and natural, and to repel wickedness wherever it threatens. The Oath of the Ancients is once more yours to fulfill. And these things have stayed interesting. Hark! Hark! A camp! And Hogma willing. Some friendly faces. Well met. Goblins roughed me up and stole my hose when they heard me singing Hatchling Love. <laughs> you wouldn't have half a bedroll for a lost minstrel, would you? I can pay for my board with music. If you care for it. Besides, it's hardly ever I meet another with scales as lovely. As mine. <laughs> You're the kind of gorgeous I dreamed of nesting with as a girl. Well, in all honesty, I ran from Tymanther to avoid my egg duty. Hardly a soul on the Sword Coast has heard our kind's love chants. I've made a fair bit of coin performing them. <laughs> Although half the time it's for some society of brilliance twat with two left feet writing a book about us. <sighs> I 
I know. It's not the first time I've been robbed. I am only glad I didn't get hurt. Quill Grootslam. Soon to be published in the songbook Affairs in Ancient Abir, Songs of Draconic Love. <laughs> uh, if I make it to Baldur's Gate with my manuscript, that is. I'll just stay one night. Promise. Then I'll be gone. I know I'm ice blood, but I, I get cold so fast. I need to be by the fire. Thanks for the fire. Oh my! Are you sure? Are you really sure? Spoken like someone who's never heard a dragonborn throat song. This one, Sky Swain, is about what it might feel like to mate in the air, in the age where wings were yet with us. Sixty-nine more verses. I'm only just beginning. Soldier. The year, ten air. The place, sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. But well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Gives me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. If I'm excited at all, angry, nervous, delighted, enticed, I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. I, I try not to think about it. I still think about it constantly, but, you know, I try. One of these days, I'll sort the whole infernal affair out, get myself cooled off, start making up for lost time. But not today. Karlak's temper is a sight to behold. She'll need to be careful. That rage will burn her right out. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. I don't know what you mean. Isn't it glorious? Karlak's fury is a wonder to behold.
The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. How can I help? You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that scared girl who asked for nothing more than a night of shelter. Her blood covers you and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. There are dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? Something wicked must have woken you. The contemptible pervert within must have lavished slash after slash upon the girl. But where, oh, where could that monster have come from? If only you knew yourself better. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Your misdeed is bright and clear as the dawning day. Another waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. Chuck. Here's hoping the explanation is less sloppy than the kill. Now, I can't help but notice that one of us is positively drenched in blood, so... She was brutalized. The killer knifed her many times after she was dead. Was it you? The blood speaks for itself. Why? Parasite must be affecting you deeply. The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deeper, hungrier. Even if it was the worm, this was peculiar indeed. I'll be watching. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air. As the Inquisition departs, you are left alone with a familiar headache. Every one of your instincts screams against the saccharine thought. You feel close to fainting again. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Master. Friend. I stayed with him until... until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you.
Go ahead. I'm listening. I'd be delighted. Though, someone else will need to watch the cook pot, of course. Magical. Karlak's all fire and fury. I pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. Sorry, but there's no room for me. I like... Speak. The party's full. You'll need to make room. Good. Who desire? Hero at heart. Let's get going. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Tell me, Lazo, when you say we might be purified at your crash, what does that mean exactly? Augusto will affix the Zathisk, the purifier, to our heads. Its magic will quell the parasite in an instant. Goblin patrol looks like. The beasts. She deserved better than that. Don't mind if I do. An owl bear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Is that blood? No, never mind. to tell me a bit more an intricate device crafted by Millar our most gifted artist it says there's a cellar here somewhere say no more I don't see one I 
push out a bag of holding. Nothing hurts anymore. Open up. Something over there. the tiny fiend, a quasit. Wicked creatures often used as familiars. Wait, you're not Illy. My master, tall, skinny, prick with ears. So, you're Shovel's master now. Fine. Master Illy calls me Shovel. Don't like it? Change it. Oh, folks, make the feast slow. Less tearing, less blood. But fine, I am fork. So, well, first, master, gutting locals, raising the dead, making them walk, making them scream. Yes, steel bodies, tear them. 
them, then Lily puts them back together, again and again. When he wasn't horny for the book, oh, book this, book that, he loves the book. Oh, oh, Master should go see. Talk to the mirror, and remember, balsam, good for burns. Can't give up now. Oh, another bandy legs gobshite. What do you want with fork? The stench of sulfur fills your... Wait! <sighs> you smell funny. Like... Like fire and iron. Like a dragon. mirror. Raw magic leashed to a bauble. Almost sad. The magic is old and wavering, but you recognize it. The mirror is a thinking lock, hiding some secret. It seems some vain wizard took living magic and twisted it into a forgotten curio. Speak your name. I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. Only a true ally of Illentoth may pass. What think you of the Zolkir known as Zastam? You remember stories of Zastam, a powerful lich in Thay who made deals with dark gods. You are no Zolkir, but are you wise? Tell me, why might one use balsam ointment? Acceptable, finally. If you could see anything in me, what would it be? No! This is my purpose. I know nothing else, but you cared to us. No others ever did. Thank you. Be welcome.
Excellent choice. Still breathing, despite everything. Watch yourself. I spy a trap. The pride of the gate. Looking ahead. Bet I can crack that open. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Beneath the allure, you feel the faintest echo of torment. There is great power in this book, but also great suffering. A cursed book? How obvious. Whoever opens it deserves the fate that befalls them. We surely shouldn't leave such a threat out, where anyone could stumble across it. Another step forward. Huh. I'll give it a shot. Tell me, Gail. What is your interest in the astral plane? Time. Or rather, the absence of it. In the astral plane, everything is eternal. It will be my home soon enough, should Vlakith will it. My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Thank you. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, like a lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite... Ah! You do plenty for me, more than you realize. But this cannot be remedied. <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, though. Fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was too. A great deal of trouble indeed. You the potential of the words, Gale. Perhaps oration suits you more than battle. They're not mutually exclusive. Weave is served best with a dash of eloquence. Mm. Mm.
drugs to them that don't value their own skin. Leader's mind clamps onto yours. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast! No, the voice has forbidden this meat. Nor will see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. A memory. The beast daubs the symbol of the absolute on a cave wall in blood. Buried deep, a tadpole struggles to assert control against the ravenous chaos of her mind. The Knoll's tadpole writhes in ecstasy, echoing your command. Its host will feast on Knoll flesh to control the hunger, to keep her teeth from your throat. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated.
me is cleverer than most. By the sundering. The parasite allows us to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. A power born of elephids might be dangerous in the wrong hands, but valuable in ours. A little caution may be advised. The power may prove valuable, or it might not. We simply don't know. A wise choice under the circumstances. I should speak up. She sniffs the air hungrily as you approach, then prepares to strike. my crew still alive out there? This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Gnolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door. Little Serpent, Long Shadow. He'll take good care of you.
smart. position. Just what to do. No choice but to keep going. Lost in thought. Bad as it could have. Hatched up. Pushing on. Breathe deep. A weighty hmm. looking chest. What's that? What treasures might that be filled with? A wizard's quite worthless with a tired mind. Sleep beckons. I would follow. Throb, blood whispers. Who's in charge of the mind flares, Laser? Is there a squid king or something? No. <clears throat> Each gate is servant to an elder brain. No king unites elders, only their collective tyranny. A mind flayer monarch? Imagine that. Such a thing could shatter worlds. Soldier. Looks like your troops all trooped up. You'll need to send someone pa Let's hop. I wasn't expecting it. I'd join you, but things are looking a tad crowded. You'll lead. Hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Nah, it'll be fine. Sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe-to-toe -to -toe with something we want to squash, drop a coin in. See what happens. Fuck 
yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. Just a brief respite. No one back home will ever believe this. to Dali. Come on, let's go. Where am I needed? <laughs> 